guys and welcome to another video. Today's one is going to be a very, 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 very special one. And I think a very long one because honestly, guys, I went crazy at Chanel. I mean, look, so here's the little back of the story, right? We're in Paris for Haute Couture. I don't know when this video is going to air because I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna structure all of this. But I got invited like to a very, very special exclusive event by Chanel. I mean, the iconic French house and one of the absolute leading fashion houses in the world to come and visit Coco Chanel's apartment. Now, this has been a dream of mine for so many years that I, I even lost the track. You know, like I wish I could just play it cool and say like, oh, and be like one of the cool girls and say like, you know what, whatever, you know? But I honestly can't, I, I can't even play cool. I, I have to tell you that I'm very excited to go and visit because it's been on my vision board for so long. Like, no, not a vision board. I don't really have it on my vision board, but it's been on my wish to do for the longest time ever. And it's not something that you can just go and visit, okay? So I, first of all, was like, I need an outfit, firstly. Secondly, I was feeling very humbled by this opportunity. And I was like, I'm in Paris and where should I shop? But in the first original, one and only 31 Rue Cambon, where you actually get these white Chanel shopping bags. So you cannot get this white shopping bag anywhere else in the world, but in Rue Cambon. And we have two big ones and two small ones. And overall, 11, yes, you heard well, 11 items that I need to unbox now. I mean, I don't need to, but I want to. So I've actually vlogged the shopping experience and you can see it on my TikTok in like a full version. You can also see it on my shorts in case TikTok is not available in your country. However, on shorts, I can only upload up to one minute. So it's not gonna be the full experience of vlogging and shopping at Chanel Rue Cambon. Honestly, I shopped a lot, but I wanted to buy way more. So I actually was like pretty disciplined, you know? So first, before we get into the bags, I wanted to actually show you a fragrance that I got from Chanel that you probably have already seen in my Paris Haute Couture Fashion Week vlog. This is Eau de Cologne and it's the Chanel fragrance that I got as a gift. Mm, and it smells so good, so summery, so fresh. I think lemony is the perfect word and I love it. So before we get into opening all of these bags, I just wanted to say that the Dakar collection landed first week of June in the boutiques and I love the collection. It was like so strong, so beautiful, gorgeous, lots of knitwear. That's what like Virginie is currently doing. When it comes to Chanel, I think that we all know about the crazy double flap price increases. Not even gonna go into that. Like for me, I was like, I think I even said it. I honestly, don't know what's happened to me because I said that I will never be buying another Chanel classic flap because the price increase is just like <gasps> but when I saw this one I was like wow 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 I think that like the price increase is has put the double flap so outside of like what I want to shop that I was like I won't be buying a double flap anytime soon which might be wrong but the point is that I don't want to wear like a basic bag, a nude collar or a black collar double flap that like, I feel like I see so many on the street and so many of them are not authentic as well, which we know happens now on the streets. So I want to show you guys, obviously you can wear whatever you want and you have full 100% right on that. And I respect you and I appreciate you for having your opinions. However, what I think is that my job is to show you what I think are cool fashion pieces that perhaps you might not always pick and go for, but I think are really good choices. So, you know, we can exchange some opinions and we can go into that. Now I'm not gonna talk anymore because I honestly think this video is going to be so long that it's insane. Where do we start? I have an overall, like I told you, 11 items. There's a mix of right wear, sunglasses, bags, shoes. Three pairs of shoes, I thought I got more. Anyway, there's three pairs of shoes, two bags, two pairs of sunglasses, and you do the maths, what's left for right wear. I don't know in which order to do it, but I wanted to show you this piece of, ah, one piece is missing actually here because one piece was left for tailoring. So I will tell you right away what piece that is. I got this gorgeous white tweed dress, which is actually from the previous, from the pre-drop. And I wanted it, like I hearted it. I have a Chanel app and I already hearted it. I was like, I need to get it. I love it so much, love it, love it, love it, love it. But the size that I had was only too big size. Now I'm not someone who needs to and only can have a size that is like says 36 or whatever. I couldn't care, it could be 42. And if it fits me and it looks good, it looks good, that's it. So 42 looked good, to be honest. 
I would have walked out of the shop with it. But there's a tailor. When you do luxury shopping, the great thing about it is that you can actually have your things tailored when you try them on. So we call the tailor. I mean, Chanel has the best tailors. Obviously, it's a couture house, guys. We don't even need to discuss that. And she's actually pinned it all up. So that item is getting tailored as we speak now. But the item that I went absolutely crazy about when I saw, and guys, I promise you, you this is insane so here is the little bag which says chanel this is actually very cute also for traveling i'm sure you guys will agree and inside we have a pair of denim now what i really love about this denim okay is the fact that they are like very 70s very baggy slouchy because i'm not actually doing a proper try on haul but i want you guys to see the pieces i'll insert pictures i actually got a size up or maybe even two sizes up just so that i can wear it in that more casual way and i don't really like when these kind of like logo cover jeans are like too tight that they're bursting i like it when they look more casual so that's the denim cannot wait to wear it like i mean obviously it's summer you might be thinking who buys denim in summer i do love it and you know what with those chanel jeans if you don't get them the day that it comes out you never get them that's it it's like such a hot piece that you know get it or regret it now i got something else that i already saw on the first day of the dakar collection coming out and i was like i want it uh, i don't want it i don't know and this is the cardigan i mean i think like i said virginia is doing a lot of cardigans and i love these autumnal colors because of course we will need this for autumn i got a big size i got a size well it's not a big size it's just a big size for me size 40 because i like oversized stuff now i don't know if you can see the buttons they're like burgundy cc logo buttons oversized cardigan cute for traveling cute for everything and i'm really looking forward to wear this they were matching trousers as well but i just know myself i know i will not wear the trousers as much so i stopped myself at the cardigan we have here one more piece of rate wear but we'll get to that in a second so where should we continue? Let's do a pair of shoes. I don't actually know which shoes to start with. This is the most precious pair of shoes that I have ever seen. Guys, when I saw them, I was like, these must come home with me. And I actually struggled deciding between white and black. I was going to get both. But then in the end, I was like, let's go for black. Ugh, they're so good. So freaking gorgeous these sandals you guys so they have the crystals all over here logo a little bit in the front very dainty delicate and all the way around they fit true to size however i got a size up because i like when these sandals are not looking too snug how much do you like these because i personally love them so that's the first pair of shoes that i got okay Shall we do a first bag unboxing or not yet? Let's do the first bag. I got two bags and I actually was trying to stop myself from buying three bags. So I couldn't actually decide and I'll tell you that later. But in the end, oh, this is already starting to unbox because of the way I took it out. In the end, I kind of went for what I thought I would wear the most. Let's see. I don't actually know which bag this is because there are two bags and it could be any of them. I have to be honest with you that unboxing a Chanel bag is always such an experience and it is, ladies and gentlemen, as you could understand already, a classic lap in yellow. And it's not just any yellow, it's this kind of like a deeper yellow that is like very prevalent in the Dakar collection. I would say the collection is mainly like mustard yellow, brown, a bit of burgundy, but a lot of like brown and olive green, like those kind of autumnal colors. I love this color because I don't think it's like basic. I think it's beautiful. I think it's cute. And I think it's something nice. Also will match perfectly my like Nike yellow off-white sneakers. So I love to wear this kind of item with a more casual item so there's not like a total look but it's a bit more casual and i love the hardware i would say the hardware it's a bit champagne-y goldy i'm not quite sure but it's not too gold so it's perfect it's just perfect okay i am um... i love it okay it is what it is let's open some sunglasses because i'm going to ibiza very soon 
and I thought these were getting very handy, both from the new collection. These camellias are getting everywhere. I wonder how long it took them to pack up all of my stuff, actually, but it was not an easy job. Currently, I've noticed that most of the sunglasses I have in my collection are from Chanel, and I love them so much. Now, look at these. These were the first one that I got. They're the newest model that came, and they're kind of a bit more cat eye. But on the side, I don't know if you can see, they have this gorgeous detailing it's kind of like a mosaic -y and logo and yeah i love them what do you guys think let me know which sunglasses you prefer the model i'll try and type it below i have so many chanel sunglasses now and i really understood that that's what i tend to bring with me the most now second pair mm. This is different because the Chanel logo is pink instead of usual kind of... You see the difference? How cute. More playful, more fun, bigger, maybe like beach or festival. So yeah. One thing that I have to say about Chanel glasses is that the glasses are actually really well polarized, like amazingly polarized. So that when I wear them, I really like when I look at my phone, I can see like the difference, like how protective they are. It's completely different. It makes me wonder if all the other glasses are actually polarized. These are so chic that I almost want to continue the rest of the video in these sunglasses. But yeah. Okay, here you can see the detailing of the sides. I think really, really fun. Like really cool, really cute. And something different. I love when Chanel is more playful or when it's fully chic and classic. But I don't like when it's like... Actually, there's nothing really I don't like about Chanel. But it's just like the whole element of fun and playfulness and youthfulness and all of that is what I really like. So we have two more pairs of shoes, one more bag, one more ready to wear piece. I think we're doing pretty well. Filippo said not to buy this, but I mean, I didn't really listen to Filippo always, you know. It's nice to have a partner, but also nice to have your own opinion. Let me show you the last piece of ready to wear that I really want you to see. It is beautiful, but very easy, casual, and actually, if you're into tweed jackets, which by the way, I collect, I think this is a very good price, if one can say so. Now, this jacket, ladies and gentlemen, really, it's not something that I would like grab right away from the shelf. It's quite like simple, but it's really chic. I got a size 38. I'm normally a 36, but I like the way it's a little bit like oversized. So with the jeans, with a crop top under, with like a, one of those like Chanel white tank tops that I have. Also, like I said, I collect collect these tweed jackets and I like to have them from various different collections so that's really cute this is 23s and the buttons are absolutely gorgeous now look at the buttons I hope you're gonna be able to really see them properly they're like little pearls with crystals and have cc logo in the middle it's white and black and I think it's really cute also with the white trousers this could look beautiful but like we all know i'm kind of in my white era even though i'm wearing black right now but it is what it is i just love those kind of chic cute pieces does that make sense that was the last piece of ray to wear that i can actually show you but i still have more shoes so next shoes are a pair that i already have but it's a different color let me show it to you i think i have like a full collection of camellias by now okay guys now these shoes are the most stunning gorgeous shoes i already have them in red and pink and purple they're so beautiful love them and what i love about them the most is that they are just so easy to style but they also bring a pop of color now i have a quite a few nice little chanel um, green pieces i think i have like three green chanel bags so hopefully something will match with these like multicolor. they have like chanel written on the back inside there's a little logo and they're very very comfy very easy to style just like a pop of color beautiful beautiful shoe <sighs> can't wait to wear them. Also, with tanned toes, this green, it's giving life and summer and fun. And what can I tell you? I love them. There's one more pair of shoes. And these I love. Well, I don't want to say the most because they're also different. So we had like the black, very simple crystallized one. We had the green ones. And now this is something very, very different. And I thought it'd be important that I share because these I would wear for a different occasion. So these I wouldn't be wearing for a lot of walking. These are more 
for wanting a bit of height but not wanting to go all crazy out to the high heels so they're very simple i actually had the same pair of sandals from the road they just didn't have the kilted platform and obviously they don't have chanel written on the back but very simple very classic i love them okay i love them i got a size 40 i'm a 40 these are really cute so easy so simple so man repelling i love man repelling shoes i know that we've been all waiting for this because i think this is the most special piece in the whole haul not everybody will agree some people will love it some people will hate it i love it obviously that's why it's here so it is what it is okay we need to discuss this it's important so beautifully packed so 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 stunning and by the size of the box you can probably tell that it's a classic flap and when i saw this one i just couldn't miss this opportunity because that's what it is it's an opportunity i love anything 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 tweet and when i saw this bag i could not leave it behind because it's so cool this bag i think is very special now i'll bring it a little bit closer to you so that you can see it because i think it's just special i don't know if you can see well the tweed but it's like green and there's a little bit of yellow and orange and olive green and there's a little sparkly little thread sorry for this mess now over here like it's crazy but i am honestly loving it the inside of the bag obviously beautiful at the back it's mona lisa smile it has silver hardware and i just think like look at this outfit that i'm wearing right now now imagine this it's like a black trousers i've got my kelly belt on waistcoat and the tweed bag i don't think everybody buys a tweed classic flap and that's what I love i love to have these more rare more special pieces more like seasonal pieces that i still think are forever because i think chanel is forever it is what it is guys i think we can agree on that and i really love love i really love this bag i just think there's something so special about it i think the combination of colors is gorgeous and i don't have a chanel classic flap in tweed now i have a gabrielle in tweed i have a 19 in tweed but not a classic flap, I think. So this is really nice to add to my collection. And with that, I think I can safely conclude this ginormous Chanel haul. And now I need to decide what I'm gonna wear for my appointment tomorrow. Probably none of these things because I actually, the Fashion Week vlog will go live before this unboxing. And I don't wanna spoil the fun for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I think I will have to stay away from Chanel for a little bit. Also like, I mean, I'm just waiting for the white dress to arrive as well. But other than that, I bought so many things that I loved. And trust me, I could have bought more because there was more stuff that I really, really, really loved. So that's that. Thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it do subscribe i love a good unboxing and i'll see you in my next video bye guys